BMW vehicles indeed are sophisticated machines possessing many complex layers of technical marvel. When it comes to performing certain engine services related to oiling circuits, you as a service professional should be fully aware of a BMW service information bulletin that provides special procedures to follow because of the unique design of the internal combustion engine on these ultimate driving machines. In this Motor Age Tech Tip video sponsored by Bosch, we'll walk through the importance of understanding what this bulletin is all about and how you can do everything in your power to minimize the engine wear after interrupting the engine oil lubrication circuit during some services. Bosch offers professional service centers a line of workshop, spin-on, and cartridge oil filters with OE fit to assure quality performance. With an efficiency of 97.5% and the ability to hold 13 grams of contaminants, Bosch Workshop oil filters provide strong inch protection and performance and come with the necessary housing seals and gaskets so your workflow is optimized for efficiency. Bosch Workshop oil filters provide coverage for a majority of the domestic and Asian and European vehicles with approximately 100 SKUs, making Bosch the single supplier you and your customers can trust. Visit BoschAutoParts.com for more information. In this video, we're specifically talking about the BMW SIB 110220 dated June 2021. As service professionals in the marketplace, it's vital to grasp the significance of this service bulletin because of the direct impact on some BMW engine maintenance and repair services. Specifically, we'll focus on the crucial aspect of replacing the oil filter housing on BMW engines triggered by the statement anything that interrupts the engine oil supply circuit of the engine. Now within SIB 110220, under the engine repairs, the following statement can be found. This procedure is used when the engine oil supply circuit is interrupted by a repair. And this applies to Vano's gears, timing chain tensioner, bed plate resealing, engine oil pump, engine oil filter housing, engine oil cooler, any engine repair that interrupts the engine oil supply circuit of the engine. If you're servicing BMWs in your facility, I strongly recommend that you review this service bulletin completely since it's full of valuable information. Look for the latest version of this bulletin within your service information system. A common oil leak repair we see in my shop is an oil filter housing service like this one. This housing is from a 2011 N51 found on a 328i. Now within this device, you can see that there's a non-return or anti-oil drain back valve. And when this device is removed, most of the engine oil will drain back into the oil sump, which of course leaves the oil galleys mostly dry. So essentially BMW is recommending that you prime the engine prior to allowing the engine to start and run. Additionally, some BMW engines have electronically controlled flow volume regulation, which is in place to help reduce engine rotating drag to increase overall engine efficiency under certain operating conditions. And as you can imagine, low flow that reduces lubrication cannot be good for an engine, especially on startup with an unprimed lubrication circuit. So prior to performing planned services that will result in interrupting the oil circuits, this bulletin states to disable the in-tank low pressure fuel pump and run the engine until it stalls. What I like to do is try to start the engine a couple more times after it stalls so that you can deplete the fuel in the high pressure section. After performing your services and refilling the engine with the proper oil, here are the next steps. Connect an appropriate battery charger to the 12 volt battery and run it in boost mode. Crank the engine for 10 seconds and let the starter cool for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then repeat these steps two more times. At this point, the fuel system can be re-enabled so that you can start the engine normally. Then you would simply proceed to finish up the job as normal. Now in situations where the vehicle arrives with a condition that doesn't allow you to run the vehicle with the low pressure pump disabled, it is recommended that you unplug all the fuel injectors when performing the engine cranking oil priming operation. And one final note, for any of the vehicles equipped with the previously mentioned electronically controlled volume flow regulation oiling system, 
A good practice is to elevate the engine speed to about 1200 RPM after starting the engine so that the system will run at the elevated flow rate. Well, I hope you found this video informative and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.